Hello everybody, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie, good luck! We beat Bubble Gloop Swamp last time, and we've opened the door to Freezy Peak, but before we go there, we're gonna dip back into Treasure Trove Cove because we got that secret code from Cheeto. Because we found his secret passageway. And that's gonna be a useful cheat to activate. And like I said, the cheats aren't game-breaking, but they're, they are helpful. So, back to Treasure Trove Cove. We're rarely ever going to revisit old worlds, but... <laughs> I don't always revisit old worlds, but when I do, it's Treasure Trove Cove. Anyhow, we gotta go to the same castle. Let's see how fast we can do that. And a lot of the stuff on the level resets after you leave and come back. Like, I think Captain Blubber's back here and he's still sad. Maybe? Anyhow. Thanks, Leaky. Alright, so before we enter the code, let's get rid of this crab. He'll just get in the way, so the password that Cheeto gave us was... Blue Eggs. Now, when you're entering cheat codes, you don't- you can reuse the same letters over and over again. Because there are many codes you will have to do that for. Blue. Egg. Where's the S? There it is. 200 eggs are now yours. Now 200 is maximum too. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help bear and chicken legs. <laughs> There are so many cheat codes in this game that you can do. Three of them you will learn from Cheeto, and those are like the legit codes. There are some codes to get some secret items. There are codes that can just like change your appearance. You can even enter codes that can break note doors or open worlds without needing the jiggies. But be careful, because if, if, you, if you input three of those codes, then Grunty will literally erase your game. No, I think just the file you inputted the codes in, but... Grunty is actually capable of deleting your file if you cheat too much. Don't worry about using Cheeto's codes, those don't count towards the counter, though. Anyhow. So you also remember that the witch switch from Bubble Gloop Swamp destroyed Moss Grunty's hat. She used to have a hat there. But we still can't find a way to get that jiggy. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll come back here in a bit. And in the meantime... We now absolutely have enough notes to break this note door. 260. Let's move on. Alright. Let's check this room out. Oh hey, she's got a sunlight in here. That's kind of cool. Also a golden vase. This is a new world, eh? Only the sand eels can survive in here. Yeah, the quicksand will damage you. So this is a world that we have not opened yet. We'll have to remember where that is. Grunty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. Um. Okay. Is she just making up rhymes while she's, like, capturing Tootie? Grunty's best friend at Wish School was the awful sweaty Betty. Okay. When relaxing, she usually reads Fat Hag Monthly magazine. There's a magazine for that? There's a magazine for everything. While sipping a glass of her favorite cold worm juice. Oh, you poor dears. Your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. That's better. Thanks, Brent Tilda. Oh, I forgot how slow we are on the quicksand. Also, I could have grabbed the waiting step boots to see if we get across, but those are too slow. Go. 
are these brick doors here that we can bash open. That's what you're supposed to do to get across the quicksand is use those waiting step boots, but I'm an impatient guy. You can also rat attack rabbit open as well. This is an upgraded Gruntling. You either need to roll into them twice, or you can rat attack the rabbit them once. Anyhow, button. And that makes this rotating, moving, shock jump disc appear around the sarcophagus. One of the only times in the game, I think, that you get a shock jump disc that actually moves around. There's a lot you can do with it. Oh, we want it. Okay. We're gonna use this to jump inside this base. What provided you've broken the hat? You have the witch switch? You get that jiggy. So that's the witch switch jiggy for Bubble Boot Swamp. That's why I didn't get it last episode. <laughs> so that's kind of a convoluted way of getting the Witch Switch Jiggy, but I like it. It's getting a little more complicated now. There's a Mumbo token behind the sarcophagus. Let's continue up. This is the Cobweb Room. Hey, bro. Goodbye. First up, these cobwebs we can destroy by shooting eggs at them. They take two eggs to destroy, but you gotta space them apart. And it's another cauldron! Another magenta cauldron, so we have officially created a shortcut. That's it! You've created a shortcut! Hop in and see! I don't want to go backwards though, so no thanks. My bad, it takes three eggs. I only heard the sound effect twice for the other cobweb. That takes 450 notes to break through. You found some notes, but you need more to break my spell and pass this door. <laughs> Speaking of which, this stupid quest, you should stop. You won't get me at the top. Get to me at the top. And hey, it's a blue cauldron. We haven't seen one of those before. Yeah, this gives you an idea of just how giant Grunty's Lair is. Oh hey, it's Brimtilda again. Tell me more of Grunty's dirtiest secrets uh, from high school. The disgusting Gruntilda has tadpoles on toast for breakfast. Ew. Then she usually has maggot pie for dinner. Yuck! Oh, that makes me wretch a little. Warp Bags then finishes with rat sorbet for dessert. How horrid. You know it's bad when tadpoles on toast sounds more appetizing than the others. Ugh. Anyhow. We finally reach... The Freeze Easy Peak Advent Calendar. <laughs> Seriously, it's a giant advent calendar of Banjo and Kazooie. It's awesome! Anyhow, this is a nice little entrance to the World 5 Freeze Easy Peak. A fan favorite. I really like this world. It's Christmas theme! The Peak's got another new move waiting for you, if you can find it. Very few games do, like, they do, a lot of games do, like, ice or snow-themed worlds. Very few of them do Christmas-themed worlds, and this game does cr a Christmas world, and it's amazing. More games should do that. Anyhow, woo. No! Alright, fine, I'll talent try. Oh, I was already maxed out, whatever. What's in this igloo? Our dad Boggy said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages. Where? Oh, sad kids. No, it's not good. I'm 
trying to talk. Oh, uh, they won't. They're too sad to talk. Oh. It is, a, well, I mean, it is Christmas without presents, but if you're a child, presents are very important. So let's go out and find them. Oh, hey, is this Boggy? <laughs> hey, bro. Whoa, my stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. Why, who, who comes across a shiny thing and is like, I'll eat it. All right, um... This may hurt a little, Mr. Boggy. This may hurt a little, Mr. Boggy. This is definitely going to hurt, Mr. Boggy. Nothing? Alright, well, can't help you. Sorry, bro. Love the catchy Christmas music as well. So welcome to Freeze Easy Peak. Ow! What a jerk! I'm trying to give the viewers a great view of Freeze Easy Peak, and you just chuck a snowball at me. What a cry butt. Anyhow. Once we gather some notes, I'll show you the, what, how, why Freeze Easy Peak is so awesome. Yeah, we'll go ahead there and in that. I don't really like the ice physics on the level, but we've got a giant snowman as the center landmark. And it's a beautiful nighttime outside. You're too cold for you, Banjo. But stay out there. That is absolutely what they sound like. Yeah, so these are the evil snowmen. I think they have official names that aren't that, but I don't know what they are. So I'm just gonna call them the evil snowmen. Hey, Green Ginger, is this your house? Well, it's my house now. It's like that uh, Disney villain song. Whee! Yeah, so the water is icy on this level. Don't enter it. <laughs> Much like Bubble Loop Swamp had piranha water, this one also damages you. How fun. Whee! I'm a present. Give me to someone sad. Presents do help make people happier. Especially if you wrap it up in a nice little bow. Oh yeah, oh, I should ask. Who here actually puts ribbons on their presents? I always go for the bow. It's so much easier to take off and put on. I suppose if you like want to make it really special, you put on the ribbon, but... Those are just so much more convenient. <laughs> We're so hilarious, they're actually just telling each other jokes. Like, <laughs> I he, this guy won't be able to bear this snowball. <laughs> Anyhow, here's Bob's. Benjamin's just sliding. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press B to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Shoot your targets carefully. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. You've learned all the moves I can teach you on this world now. We only have one more new move to learn now. And I bet you can guess what it is based on what we've already seen in the game. Get the Jinjo. Excellent. Oh, hey, it's a present. What's up? Uh, need some help? Need some help? We're the Twinklies. Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us get it there, we can light the tree up for you. So these are the Twinkly Munchers. Mm, crunchy and tasty. So the game, I think you're so, the game wants you to use the, the, the ground pound on them, but you can rat a tat rap them as well. And it's so much faster than rat a tat rap them. Yeah. 
I don't think it's possible to get every single light through without letting any of them get eaten. Oh wow! You can actually kill them before while they're spawning before they can eat in a light. That's actually kind of amazing. It's really difficult though. Thankfully, we've got ample time. Yeah, imagine how slow it is to get everyone across when you're using the ground pound. Woohoo! Phew! That was close, but we made it! Now switch us on! Okay, I'll try. Oh, it's Icy the Ice Cube, not his actual name. If you rat attack wrap him, he'll break into two smaller ones and you can rat attack wrap each of them. Pretty simple. Alright. There we go. Shoot him with the eggs and you turn on the tree. Yippee! Be a star and you'll find your reward! Hurry! This is kind of a complex process to go through. But we saw a flight pad back here, so let's take that and fly through the star on the tree. <laughs> We're gonna be the star. Just like Amelia Bedelia wanted. Anyone see, uh, the, read the uh, kids' book, Merry Christmas, Amelia Bedelia? Where it's like, she's trying to set up the Christmas decorations. For those of you who don't know, Amelia Bedelia is basically a maid who works for a family who takes, like, all of their directions in the most literal way possible. So it's like, draw the drapes in, like, the lounge instead of, like, you know, drawing the drapes. She, like, literally sketches a picture of the drapes. It's fantastic. Anyhow, in the Christmas one, <laughs> oh yeah, you fly through it three times and then something breaks inside the tree. Let's explore the tree. But anyhow, back to the important things. Amelia Bedelia's Christmas adventure. So one of the things, like she's setting up the Christmas tree and it's like, oh yeah, make sure you put the star on the tree. She's like, well, what kind of star? Like sports star, like movie star. And she's like, wait, I want to be a star. She puts like a mirror on the tree, on the like, top and it's with like the caption, see the star. And, like, their aunt comes and is like, that's awesome! And the real moral of Amelia Bedelia is, um... <laughs> the real moral is that you can get make, get away with a lot of mistakes if you know how to cook. That's seriously the moral. Also, <laughs> there are termites in the Christmas tree. Oscar predicted it. Huh, I hope their Christmas trees get termites. Well, thanks, Oscar. <laughs> this Christmas tree's blood is now on your hands. I hope you're happy. Anyhow, oh wait, we forgot to pick up the present. That's kind of an important thing. Oh, we're getting made out, Katana! Love the music in this world. Especially all the remixes. Burr, it's cold. Nice warm backpack for me, too. Anyhow, let's grab the Jiggy. That's a convoluted Jiggy again. That was the first Jiggy on the course. Yeah, the Jiggies are definitely getting tougher to grab. No longer are Jiggies just standing out on platforms. Well, they still are, but it's, it's more advanced than that. Anyhow, 